One of the world's most iconic African-American architects, Paul Williams, is being memorialized with a new project. You see, some of his most important documents were lost in a fire during the L.A. riots, but his granddaughter saved thousands of drawings and blueprints, and now they're being shared and preserved for future generations. Here's NBC4's Angie Crouch. If you look around Southern California, you'll see hundreds of homes and buildings created by Paul Revere Williams. In the 1920s, the USC graduate became the first African-American member of the American Institute of Architects and went on to design homes for stars like Lon Chaney, Frank Sinatra, and Lucille Ball. Before his death in 1980, Williams designed dozens of other well-known buildings like the Stanley Moss Courthouse, the Kenneth Hahn Hall of Administration, First AME Church, the iconic sign outside the Beverly Hills Hotel, and Williams was part of the team that designed the spider-shaped theme building at LAX. Clearly, he left an amazing footprint. Williams' granddaughter and biographer, Karen Elise Hudson, is now sharing her grandfather's secret archives with USC's School of Architecture and the Getty Research Institute, a virtual treasure trove of architectural plans, original drawings, and blueprints. It made no sense to just hold on to them myself. I, as I said before, he wanted to be an inspiration to young people, and this will allow that to happen. Williams' archive material and photos will be digitized and preserved for future use in exhibits and research. It's a big honor. It's a, it's a humble responsibility. Milton Curry, the dean of USC School of Architecture, says Paul Williams' pioneering work, most of it done during a time of segregation in America, will be used to teach future generations and hopefully will inspire more African Americans to consider careers in architecture, a field which currently has only 2% African American professionals. That's incredibly important to put it in the context of both the history of modern L.A., the history of modernism in the United States and the history of black Americans who've contributed so much to the aesthetic, uh, cultural life of this country. Williams' granddaughter believes he's somewhere smiling today, grateful that his trailblazing path will now be accessible to an even wider audience. And with a nation crying out for social justice, it couldn't come at a better time. But as an architect, he believed his work was important. And this gives it a chance to live on. Angie Crouch, NBC4 News.